What's going on guys? Welcome back to another daily YouTube video where we cover the market, our trades and all the content by EA. Today is Monday. You are watching us on Tuesday and EA had a little surprise for us today. It was a slight dip on the market and gave us some good opportunity. We also are starting to get a ton of leaks for the new Premier, which we're going to get into during this video. As at the start of every video, join the free trading discord, click this button in the three day, in the weekly discord giveaway to be within a chance of winning seven free three day Patreon giveaway spots. Also, I'm a Twitch streamer who streams twice daily between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. and 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. UK time every single day. So make sure you follow the Twitch and join the free Discord link in the description. Today, we did get some content. And it was, surprisingly, the UEFA marquee matchups on a Monday, which is something we've never had before. This gave three tradable packs, Rare Mix Players Pack as a total reward. And here's some other stuff as well. Honestly, not the best rewards, but yeah, it was a surprise. So we did see a tiny bit of panic selling at content. And it's obviously very quick, uh, very cheap, and also very easy to do, only being two squads. The whole thing only costs 8k to do the whole thing, and you get three packs. So you're probably pretty much guaranteed to make profit. Um, we did get a Trailblazer number five SBC, which was another tradable pack, which gave some tradable supply, coming in at 5k. And the big thing we really got today was the upgrade, and it was today a 75 plus pick, our first player pick. So those of you trying to do the unassigned glitch, congratulations, you can now do it again. And you can do this, I think it requires uh, 8 commons, is it? 8 gold commons to do this. Probably not worth it in my opinion, because you get, if you think about it, you get 2 options of 1 of 20, <laughs> 1 of 2, right? 75 plus. But if you just do this, you're actually getting 2 players. But obviously 75 plus 2 and they both this just requires three more commons so kind of makes no sense to actually do this when you're getting one player and this one you're gonna get two players weird one for me eh, there um we did make some very very good trades overnight which we'll get into now i'll quickly show you a quick recap of the trades we made last night um we did buy Griezmann at 98k, he peaked at 110k, and um, we've got more moves to be made on this card. Gaia didn't actually do too well, didn't really move, even with the, the links to the new Aspas SPC. Uh, Ward Prowse, we sold for almost 40k. Uh, here's some guys again with a shadow today. We've got a little bit of coins there, nothing too crazy. And then in the subsection, Grimaldo at 51, went to 57, and Erdegaard also didn't actually move as well. Modric, this is today telling people to sell their road to knockouts. If you have not sold your road to knockouts, I severely recommend you sell ASAP as they are heavily overinvested. And this is the most overinvested card. It is currently 370k, so it's up another 6k or so from when I posted. I would want to be out of these cards right before the game because you never want to hold live cards into a game. There's another tip we posted. But now to the big part of what you're all here for the leaks. So, Foyth firstly has been leaked to come as an SPC in the next couple of days. This could likely come today on Tuesday, in my opinion. He can play. CDM, center back and right back. He's, I think, six foot, so he's not the tallest, or maybe he's 5'8, not too sure. Hasn't got the best playstyle, plus, but has good playstyles. Very good link to Coquelin if you did the Coquelin SBC. But yeah, fourth SBC is coming. Stoichkov has been linked to come as the icon SBC for the week. We seem, we seem to be getting them weekly. His card on the market is currently a mill, so this could be quite expensive, but also, could also have quite a lot of demand, as he is four star, three star. However, he does have technical plus, which is a fantastic playstyle plus. And now Centurion leaks are here. We have Rashford already leaked for Team 1. Well, actually, we're not even too sure if it's Team 1. He just leaked. We have Pedri also leaked. These stats predictions. Icons are in this promo. We have Hullet leaked. And the last official leak we have is Zico. They've gone big with two massive icons who are clearly going to be very expensive. Who knows the upgrade system on these cards? We'll have to wait and find out. But there's definitely going to be some panic on the market over the next few days. If we take a look at the Centur uh, not Centurions, Trailblazers Team 2, they aren't performing the best. Uh, Puba was 40k at one point today, but the supply has hurt him. And you can see overall, not really too much movement on these cards as Panic is starting to set in on the market. This card was 40k earlier. Again, he will probably do decently out of packs, but right now he's on the way down as he continues to get more supply. Team of Week 5 and the other Trailblazers team. Uh, Bruno Fernandes is 140k, so nice to arise there. BVD hasn't moved and we don't really care about the rest. Variety heavily, heavily over invested, so we're staying well away from that card. Sold up today at 44k, looking like a very good thing that we did. Uh, we are then also looking at the last team, which has not has also done very poorly. Ruben Diaz seems to keep going down to 110 every day, but it's not too much profit to be made. Gaia hasn't moved, Toma hasn't moved. Honestly, not too much movement. Maybe Dante's at the tiniest amount, but nothing is really moving. We did make one big move today at content though, and it was, of course, 
Antoine Griezmann with the supply of the marquee matchups. Uh, Griezmann, if you have a look at his graph, Griezmann has scored a hat-trick, by the way, and is pretty much nailed on to being Team of the Week, so we liked it as out-of-pack investment. He's the most um, highly... What's the word? Most likely to get a Team of the Week from the entire Team of the Week as he scored a hat-trick. You can see he's been rising all day. We bought him last night at 100, sold at 110. 6pm content came. He took a dip to 105. And guess what? We thought more people will be investing. And you can see he's already at 111k. And I have bought a lot at 105 or lower. And I plan to sell this probably on Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon. Because I don't want to be holding this into Wednesday. Depending on what we get on Tuesday too. And then we'll probably be trading this card throughout the next week. On Thursday, Friday. As we get panic selling. Because guess what? He's not in packs and he'll still have demand. Awar also was on a nice little dip, and I'm going to quickly show you all the cards I have on my transfer list, just to show you how many Griezmanns I do have. Here's a Griezmann selling for 114. Did sell my Openda and Machado, as Machado plays on Tuesday, I believe, so we need to get out of him nice and soon. Here's some Griezmanns. You can see the buy price is 104, 105. A lot more Griezmanns here. 105, you can just see me flick through them all really fast. Pretty much all of them at 105. He was hard to snipe, obviously, because I was streaming on Twitch at the time. Uh, but there were a couple 104s, but really mostly 105s. Trying to sell for 115. Isn't the most profit. It's around 4 to 5k profit per card. I think I have 18 or something. So that'd be an easy 75k. And yeah, we will hopefully be out of all those for profit before you even see this video in the morning as we plan on selling these as when we can in the hype. I think he should hit 115k relatively easily, whether it just touches it and drops or if he gets close and starts to lazy sell. You can already see I have lazy sold one currently for 114k. You can see there's a lot of supply here at 112 though now. But there was even less early. See, he's clearly over 111 now. Check at 112. You will see that he is decreasing. These are just appearing right now. So it looks like he's over 112 now. Again, this card is just only rising as people invest in the most obvious Team of the Week investment for this Team of the Week. I'm sure all mine will go for 115. I could be greedy and raise the price, but in this day and age, I've learned to not be greedy with my cards and take profit every single time I have it. I believe there's a couple other cards I do have in here as well. I think there's Hinkapi, for example. Oh wow, and Henkapi, these games aren't until Thursday, so there's no real rush to get rid of them as opposed to the other cards in the UCL. Uh, Opener didn't really do that well. He did go to 310, but I didn't catch the high. And yeah, we'll be selling those, and all of these games will probably be gone by tomorrow. And Oh wow, obviously, is a fantastic link to Mares, but his game is until Wednesday, so again, we'll be planning on getting out of that. If you look at some of the other teams, you will see some crazy rises today on cards like Samka. Samka is all the way up at 240. You know we're monitoring her every single day. Clearly, the coin transfers were going through the roof today on this Monday morning. But um, yeah, you can see, once again, she had a crazy spike, so honestly, if she comes to 200, just spend all your coins and just wait, and eventually she seems to do this all the time. Eventually she's not going to do it, so who knows. Here are the road to knockouts, and again, I'd highly advise you sell all these cards in the hype. I wouldn't hold a single one of these cards into the game, as they're, in my opinion, are all quite heavily over-invested. Uh, Luis Diaz is doing one of the best. Unless your card is a massive underdog, you always sell in the hype because a big favorite, everyone expects them to rise. And guess what? When the big favorite, the, the predicted result happens, they actually drop. So don't fall for that one. And guess what? If there's an upset, and don't forget this is football, upsets happen all the time, the card can drop and the entire card will crash heavily, just like you've seen with a few of these cards which went out in the first round, uh, namely these women's cards. But yeah, just be aware of all those things that can happen. We'll quickly look at the popular page just to get a quick recap. And you can see the, by the cards that are trending that these leaks ha have reached the rest of the community. Zico is trending now. Some of the gold cards did rebound quite well overnight. We didn't really get involved in the gold cards, but there was money to be made there. As you can see, some of these prices are slightly higher than before. VVD has now peaked at 285. We did sell at 260, but we sold last Thursday. So you can imagine what we did with those coins. We probably easily made 25k using the 260k we had. So well, we may have lost out an extra 25k profit. I'm sure I would have made more profit by selling that card early and getting out and having the lower risk play. Uh, you can see some other cards here which have had nice rises, such as Furlan Mendy was down at 88k, and Kyle Walker was down at 110, 115k briefly earlier. Benali was at 50k at many points yesterday, and he has risen well. So you can still trade the gold cards, even though I don't recommend it most of the time. Other than that, guys, it does look like Ward Prowse is going to do very, very good at packs alongside Kubo, if I had to guess. These two are very underpriced, maybe Morrow's as well. But if I had to have a look at some other cards, maybe Robertson's holding very well. And Sello's a pro card. Honestly, some very good cards here with some very good play styles. But these two shown great strength today on a Monday. So that normally means good strength for outer packs on a Friday. Again, we won't be buying these till Friday or Thursday night. We'll have to wait and see on the final supply. Until then, I won't be touching them as we get more and more leaks. And hopefully we get more leaks to leak to you guys on the Discord and on the stream. Other than that, guys, make sure you follow the Twitch. Link in the description for that. 
join the free training discord to get access to free tips and all the leaks brand new leak just come through right now which we've just had posted in the discord by our mod sammy lacazette has been leaked to come so yeah make sure you join the discord everyone has access to this leak channel it's completely free the link in the description for that and yeah that is a card which is literally leaked a second ago as it is currently 10 3 p.m other than that guys thank you for watching like subscribe share the video proceed with caution sell your road to the knockouts before the games please 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 do and if you want to see how to trade them potentially after the games which ones have secured an upgrade then make sure you come through to switch stream other than that guys thank you for watching like subscribe share the video and i'll see you in the next one tomorrow peace